Okay, so we are gonna do about like five minutes of foam rolling and we're gonna go to our dynamic mobility stretching. So we are going to start on the long way of the foam roller. If your foam roller is short and it's not as long, you can add some pillows on the front or on the back. It's better to put it more on the bottom portion of your body, okay? So keep your upper back on the foam roller, keep your head on the foam roller. And if your form body is short, you can put pillows for the rest of the, the surface. So from here, we are gonna press your belly button in so your back is completely flat on the form roll the whole time. And we are gonna turn our palms down and press your shoulder blades in, and squeeze the form roller with your shoulder blades. Inhale, exhale, switch, flip your hands down and do the same thing, squeeze the form roller. But again, don't start arching your back. Your back is flat, your pelvic is still, abs are engaged. No space between the foam roller and your lower back. Keep doing down, down, inhale, exhale, inhale, and four, three, two, one more. Now we are gonna go. One arm goes towards the floor and the other one goes over your head towards the floor and you switch. Keep your belly button in, keep your back flat. So you don't wanna compensate your lack of shoulder mobility by arching your back, okay? So only go as low as your shoulders allows it. We not loosen that compression, that ab engagement between the lower back and the front bone. And then four, three, two, one more. This is one of the best exercises you can do for posture and back. They even have a lot of research that this, this, this said it helps to uh, adjust your, your column and your uh, any space disc you might have. So now you're gonna bend both arms towards the floor, shoulder level, try to reach the floor and up to the ceiling. Inhale, French up and just squish on the blades in and come up. So I want you to make sure you're engaging the muscles between your shoulder blades, pinching the foam roller. Your abs are engaged and your back is flat on the foam roller. It's okay if you cannot touch the floor, but we wanna keep the engagement and it's squeeze your shoulder blades in. In four, three, this is so good. Two, squeeze your shoulder blades in, squeeze your abs, one more time. Squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it, and relax it. Keep your arms open level, and you're gonna bring, okay, so you're gonna bring one leg up, and if you can, you bring two legs up. If you not, keep one down. You can also bend the knees, which will make it a little easier. Now, where we want to work is abs engage, back completely flat, no space between your lower back and the foam roller. You're pinching your shoulder blades in, your shoulders are away from your ears. And from here, you're gonna press your belly button a little harder and bring your hip towards your ribs. Exhale, inhale. Very tiny. Exhale, inhale. Controlling. So what we are working is in the posterior pelvic tilt. And four, three, two, one more. Now bend the knees and bring it back down towards the floor. I want you to squeeze your shoulder blades in, pinch the foam roller with your uh, shoulder blades, engage those muscles between, and take your hip off the floor, off the foam roll, and bring it back down. Not again. Squeeze shoulder blades in, shoulders down, drive your hip forward. We are looking for that hip opening, but we want you to squeeze, so bring your shoulders back, pinch, pinch, pinch in the foam roller, drive your glute up. Wonderful. This is great to open up our chest, to drive our shoulders back, activate the back, upper back. 
One more time. Pinch it. And relax it. Now we're gonna roll on this side slowly. And we're gonna get on one of our sides. So you're gonna start on our right side. You're gonna place the form row close to your knee. And from there, you're gonna slowly go up and down, like very small portions at the time. So stay close to your knee and go there to the middle and all the way to IT band. Do it one more time to the middle. IT band. And go a little higher and do little ones up and down again. IT band. Middle. So the body weight is more on your right leg. If you can, if you know you're going to use this leg to take body weight off, your left leg. And get to the center of your quad. And go to the side. And go a little bit higher. Last round. And go to the center. To the side. And to the center. And to the side. Nice. From there. We switch to your left one. Every time you have knee pain, this is the best thing you can do. Listen up the IT bin, which is a connective. So show you do it by manipulation. This is one of the ways. So go to close to your knee, go up and down, right on that spot, and you turn it to the front, all the way from that left leg, you back to the side. Keep going up and down and side to side. Right, Tibian likes that side to side. Nice, a little higher, mid side. This used to be the tender spot. So take some body weight off if you need to. If you find it super painful, that means you have to do it more. You have to do it more often. That connect is just really, really tight. And turn it. One more time to the side. Turn it. And now bring it all the way closer to your hip. Same thing. And turn it to the side. Oh, so. And to the side. And to the front. And to the side, last round. To the front, nice. Okay, our last one in here. You're gonna sit on top of the foam roller. I mean, I can tell the difference already. And you're gonna cross your right on top of your left, and you're gonna tilt your left cheekbone, your right cheekbone on the foam roll, and you're gonna go up and down right there on your glutes. This is where your IT band starts. It gets all of three glutes together, wrap them around it. And Comes to our side all the way to our knee. So now get back to the middle and sit on the front row and bring your chest tall, adding that glutes stretch. Nice, relax this side. Now cross your left one on top of your right one. Lean on the left side on the check. So you wanna get the middle of your back, but also you wanna want this side, more glute medius. All oh, three, massaging them. This is also really good for back pain. 
glutes, tightness on your glutes has a lot to do with your lower back, lumbar, to work together. Okay, sit tall all the way. Grab the knee so you can keep it lower or higher, depending how flexible, but I want a long chest on top. You want to stretch in the side of your glutes. Breathe. Nice. Okay, now we are going to relax it. We're going to take our foam roller and we are going to start it here. Let me get a little closer. We are going to roll your toes under and we are going to sit on our heels, stretching our toes, the bottom of our foot. From there, you're going to turn it the other way and you're going to sit on our heels. So, some of you, that's plenty. Or you can bring your hands behind you, actually take your knees off the floor. And back up, drive your hip forward and bring your right leg forward. Drive your hip to the front, both hip facing forward, so you don't want to be here. And the knee is in line with your heel, or slightly passing, but not on your toes. You're gonna turn your, your chest towards the front leg. Your right shoulder is gonna go all the way up. You're gonna reach with your hand as far back as you can. And if you can, you're gonna reach the back leg and bring it towards you. If you know, just stay right here. Bring it to the front. Bring your hands on the floor right next to your right foot and take your left knee off the floor. Drive your chest forward, drive your chin up, drive your hip down and bend the knee again. Drive your knee out to the, to the right side, to the outside of your right foot and drive your hip down. You get a nice stretch. Now keep the knee where it is and drive your left hip towards the floor. You're stretching the IT in your obliques. Bring it back to the front. And take that right left knee off the floor again. Drive that chin up. Bring it down. Bring the other one back down and get in the child pose. Walk your hands towards your right side. Bring your hip towards your left. And switch. Bring your hands towards your left, your hip towards your right. Walk your hands to the front and walk it up. Okay, again, turn your toes under. And sit, put body weight, only as far as it's comfortable, especially if you don't do this often, or if you have arthritis in your big toe, you might find a little tender. I think you should still do it because it will help you with the mobility of those toes, but you wanna put less body weight on it. Turn uh, under. Sit on your heels and you can stay right there or you can bring it all the way up. Nice. Bring your hip off the floor. Now you're gonna bring your left leg forward. Both hip is forward, chest is tall. Open up the hip and bring your body to rotate on the left knee. Your left shoulder. I use this hand, your right one, to help me to rotate and reach with my left hand as far back as I can. Now, if you can, you're gonna bend the back knee and bring it towards you. Chest is tall. That left shoulder is still pointing all the way back.
bring it down on the floor. Bring your hands right next to your left foot. Your knee is pointing forward. You take that toe under and you take the right knee off the floor. Chest is tall. Sink your hip. Bring your shoulder rolling back. Chin is up, reaching forward. Bring your knee back down. Drive that left knee out. Bringing your hip down towards the floor, your chest is forward. So open up all everything on the side of the left hip. Now keep it reaching out, but you're gonna bring your right hip towards the floor. Open up the rib cage. Bring it to the front. Take that left knee, right knee off the floor again. Sink that hip. Drive your shoulders down. Chin is forward. Make sure this left knee stays forward. It's not coming out. Bring it back in a plank. Baby cobra. Chin up, inhale, exhale, child pose. We're gonna do one more round. Drive your right hand underneath your left one and reach as far as you can, trying to bring the right shoulder flat on the floor. Switch, your right one goes forward, your left goes under and you reach. Bring it forward. Walk it again. Come around. Roll your toes under. Sit on your heels. Stretching those big toes, little toes everywhere in your feet. Now under. And stretch the front of the toes, chin. Bring it to the front. Drive your hip forward. Right leg goes forward. Keep on pointing forward. Right knee is straight forward. Turn your body towards the right knee. Your right shoulder reaches as far back as you can. Inhale, exhale, bend the back knee. You can also use a belt. You can also use a wall to help you to bring the knee up, no as high. Bring it down, bring your hands right next to the right, right knee. Take the, now bring the right knee as far as you can. You see I'm rolling on the outside of my right foot, but your hip is sinking down. Now the external rotators of your hip are stretching. Now inhale. Exhale and bring your, now you bring your left hip towards the floor while your right one stays out. And if you can, you're gonna rotate, looking at the right knee. Bring it to the front, hands on the floor. And take that right and left knee off the floor. Roll your shoulders down, chin reaches forward, the right knee straight forward. Inhale, exhale, go in a plank. Place your knees on the floor, draw your hip down, shoulders away from your ears. Inhale, exhale, open your legs wider and sit back in a child's pose. Walk your hands towards your right. And drive that hip towards your left. And switch. 
arms are reaching to your left. You should feel a really nice stretch on the side. Do a deep breath, expanding your ribs, stretching all your rib cage. Back to the middle and walk. Last round. Roll those toes under. Sit on your heels if you can. Hopefully, by now, it feels easier than the first time we did it. You know, we don't pay attention to our big toe mobility, but very important to keep our feet healthy. Under. Come up. Especially, it's very common to get arthritis as you get older and your toes get very rigid. You lose mobility on those on the toes. So later, you, you gait changes. Okay, last one. Bring your hip forward. Left one goes forward. So if you like to walk a lot or if you like to run, keeping that toe mobility for everybody. But, and because your toes don't move properly, your feet doesn't roll properly. So it affects your balance, affects your knees, your lower back. So we're connected. Turn your body towards the left knee. Your left hand goes as far back as you can, reaches, reaches. Again, you can use the right hand to help you to reach a little farther. From there, you're gonna bend the back leg, bring it towards you. Keep working on keeping that left shoulder back and away. Chest is open. Breathe. Ooh, you see the side status, it's harder for me to stay in balance. This is where we are working to keep that mobility. Relax the foot. Bring your hands right next to it. Chest is tall. Now go on the outside of your left foot, drive the knee away and drive your hip down towards the floor. So really work on that right hip reaching down. Chin's up. Now turn on your side, bring your hip down. While this left knee is still reaching out, breathe, open up the rib cage, reach all your sides. So you're facing, looking at your left knee. You come to the front. Take that right knee off the floor. Your left leg stays forward. Your shoulder stays down. Bring your left one back in a plank. And now from here, you're going to go in a triangle pose. So keep your hip wise apart, drive your heels down, your chest is reaching towards your knees, your hands are spread, reaching forward, and alternate, then your right, then your left. And you focus and press on the heel down or the leg is extended. Trying to reach the floor with your heels while your back is long and tall. So like the name is of the position, we are trying to imitate triangle shape. Okay, two both down. Now bend both knees, hover the floor, Inhale, exhale, press both heels down. Inhale, bend the knees over the floor. Exhale, press your heels down. Two more. Make sure your knees and toes are stay in the same line. One more. And bring your knees on the floor. Child pose one more time. Now you're gonna stay in child pose and you're gonna lean to one side, pressing the shoulder towards the floor and you're gonna bend that elbow, stretching all your traps and, traps and triceps. 
flats and triceps. <laughs> That's what I meant. Extend it and switch to the other side. You shift body weight. Try to press that shoulder down on the floor. Bend that elbow. Bring it to the front and walk your hands slowly up. Just last quick in here. You're gonna stay sitting tall. If you, it's difficult for you to stay sitting tall with your leg extended and you find yourself rolling, place a yoga ball, a yoga block in your butt or a pillow or something to help you to stay a little higher. So you're gonna bend your left knee, toes up to the ceiling, engaging those, those and the feet drive your right leg, right arm reaching your right toes. If you cannot reach them, use a belt. Relax it. Just toe. Bend your right one, toes up to the ceiling, engaging those the ankles on your feet. Left one reaches your left toes. Trying to keep the ankle bended. So this is another reason why we want to keep those toes up to the ceiling. Chest toe and long. Bend your left one. Right toes up to the ceiling. Inhale, exhale. Reach your toes. And relax the last time. Bend your left, bend your right one, extend your left one, left toe up to the ceiling, chest tall and long, and then bring your hip. Use a belt if you need to. If you find all arching to try to reach it, use a belt. We want to create that pelvic tilting. Our last one, extend both legs, toe up to the ceiling, chest tall, inhale. Exhale, reach the toes. Relax it, shake those legs up. And let's do a last deep breath. Inhale in, reach up, up, up to the ceiling. Exhale. Thank you guys, have an amazing. Thanks, Kat. You're welcome.